Let me turn to my other big story there today, away from the politics of Maharashtra. There was finally some relief for prominent human rights activist Gautam Navlaka. The Supreme Court extended his protection from arrest till the next day of hearing. The case was heard on Friday after at least three Supreme Court judges recused themselves from hearing the case, leaving to question marks. Why are judges refusing to judge over cases involving human rights activists? Take a look. Excuse me. Excuse me. The Supreme Court on Friday gave interim relief to civil rights activist Gautam Navlaka from arrest on October 15th in the 2017 Bhima Koregaon rights case. Navlaka's name had surfaced during a probe into alleged anti-India Maoist conspiracy and an alleged plot to kill Prime Minister Modi. Arguing for Navlaka, Abhishek Manu Singhvi wanted the FIR quashed. He said Navlaka was never named in any FIR or charge sheet. Singhvi also stressed on the fact that Navlaka was used as a communication channel between the government and the Maoists once. He also argued that there's no direct evidence linking him to the Maoists, yet the UAPA was invoked against him. The court asked the Maharashtra government to present all the evidence collected by it against Navlaka. The Maharashtra government had opposed for further protection to Mr. Navlaka, but considering the long-standing protection, the High Court has continued the interim relief for one week. So on next date, as per the order of the court, the state of Maharashtra will produce all the documents, including the sealed uh, uh, envelope documents, and the matter will be argued on merits. Navlaka faces charges of waging a war against the state, conspiring to commit offences against the state and sedition. The Supreme Court on Friday clarified only three judges had recused from hearing the cases and not five as earlier reported. Can UAPA provisions be imposed against civil rights activist Gautam Navlaka or will his argument that dissent is not the same as disaffection and secession be upheld by the Supreme Court? The issues will be decided by the apex court once the Maharashtra police submits its evidence against Navlaka before the Supreme Court. This is Anisha Mathur in New Delhi for India Today. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.